up the street. A bull? Bull, B-U-L-L. And it's not a cow, it's definitely a bull. It's, it's definitely a bull. 911? You're not going to believe it, but there's a uh, male bull. It escaped from the meatpacking plant down the street. LCD 221 and 12. She had multiple 911 calls on a bull running in the middle of the roadway. Buddy was being unloaded at a slaughterhouse and was able to make a break for it and, and got away. I figured we'd be able to catch him pretty quickly and get him back to the farm. For immediate release, the animal has been identified as a beef alarm. It's a cow. And yeah. a vice, I did narcotics, gangs, and firearms trafficking, but never had to catch a beefalo. Buddy is three years old, and he weighs about a thousand pounds. Oh my gosh, could you imagine a vehicle and Buddy? I'm afraid somebody would shoot him or mount lying. He could be a danger, not just to himself, but others. Here you go. Impression. Droppings. Thick brush. Really difficult to search the area effectively. We tried everything, thermal imaging, night vision, goggles. People constantly say, no, I saw him all, all day. He was hanging right around. Looking at him straight in the eye, he's looking right at me. Getting that one call, but he's in my backyard again. So we knew, okay, he's traveling, he's traveling down. A gentleman that had the beefalo running around in his backyard. But he's been here. My neighbor was scared to death. I'm like, what are you scared of? You know, animals and people don't like to be alone. We set up some fencing with food to get him in the corral and trap him. We got in his truck, we were out for a half hour. He walked right in. Didn't work out so good. Buddy <laughs> took one look at me, panicked, and he was able to escape. I'll never forget the look in his eyes. He was he was really afraid of me. And then I was completely heartbroken. So we had him. And that's how fast he got away. My white whale. I didn't sleep much, I was worried for him. He's very smart. I learned so much about personalities just spending my time with my dog, Ciroc. Ciroc uh, and I were both first responders at Sandy Hook. I 